Welcome to the Backpack Korox Experiments of Tears of the Kingdom and right now we're doing episode 3. I'm just taking a Korok to another Korok. There he is. So I'm just going to take this Korok with us. This is a fanboy from the... No, this isn't fanboy. This is Dr. Hook or Captain Hook or something something hooks. This is the hook guy. I keep jumping off the edge, which kills Ultra Hand. This movement is not very classy, but I thought this might be more interesting than analyzing the cooking pot. Ah, I can see you without jumping on the wall now. Come with me, fool. Now, we're gonna just jump in this hole. So, are we there yet? Not quite. There he is. We're just gonna jump in this hole and uh, take the core up with us. Now, as much as I accelerate, I can't catch him. I just can't catch the Korok, which is a fun little thing uh, to know. That uh, if you can catch up with other things that fall from the sky, random event items and so on. But there is our Korok right in it, the Coblin camp. So let's see if we can uh, deal damage with the Korok. I think we can. I just keep missing. Uh, drop him on his head. There we go. Just wanted to proof of principle that we can indeed deal damage with a Korok. Now I'm just going to check my map real quick. We've got a fair way to go to move this Korok, so we'll uh, take our time doing it. But uh, today I'm, I'm going to talk about the uh, cooking pot. It's just it's quite a boring ordinary device, so I thought I'd entertain you by dragging this Korok around for a while and taking some uh, damage. Go away, Bokos. Bokos. No oh dear. Uh, righto. So there's a wheel of device there. But uh, we should be getting close to the Korok we want. There he is. Up there. So I'm just going to carry this Korok up here and stick it to the first one. It'll be interesting to find out if you can use uh, one Korok to... One backpack Korok to solve the puzzle of a different backpack Korok. Or if the game knows which backpack Korok is which. So now that we've fused these two, uh, let's just ro roll them down the hill because they're pretty rolly. Oh, they, they don't roll when they're together. Let me just un unstick them and then pick them up and see if they'll roll down the hill. Uh, I'm supposed to be talking about the cooking pot, but I wanted to get some Koroks uh, set up together. It's my first time playing with two Koroks. Whee! So two backpack Koroks, and so now we're in a stable, isn't that nice? The Bokos have gone away. And now that these <laughs> Koroks are pleasantly rolling around, we will analyze the portable pot. Now the portable pot, Zone Eye device number seven in the inventory is exactly what you think it is, a portable cooking pot. You can pause and cook something. I'll just cook a chili and then you cook and then the pot disappears so it's a single use item it uses no energy cell and it like it uses no battery uh, no energy cell i shouldn't say battery because battery is a different uh like it's a different item so we'll just look at these koroks let's uh, try and make a korok car really quick uh we'll get back to the cooking pot because it's not actually all that bad it's very useful to be able to stop and cook like you basically don't need to carry cooked food you just uh, need to have the uh, have portable cooking pots you yeah, know it's a terrible Korok car let's just add a second uh, Korok to that car that's not a car at all it's just a couple of wheels no not even an axis and see it fall over <laughs> all right so another cooking pot we'll drop another cooking pot and what is useful about the cooking pot is you end up with lots of them because you don't need as many as the game gives you. So that means you can uh, use them as a utility item to build extensions if you've got nothing else lying around. Like if you're trying to pick up an item, uh, Ultra Hand can be used like a fishing rod. Uh, I was at the, well, I was at a place where there was a, uh, items underwater and I couldn't actually reach them with my ultra hand so I fused a couple of long objects uh, to 
to the shorter object, held it out like so, and it was underwater and I turned it and then I was able to pick up the item by attaching it and just grabbing the, the wrong end. So we're about to get a blood moon, so let's try and time this right. So there's really not too much to say about the cooking pot except that you can use it to build as just like utility. But uh, actually let's leave them together, drop a couple of rockets and just attach them randomly and see what happens. There's really not too much to say about the cooking pot except as I said uh, you can use it also to, to build uh, and add stability if you're building something. Thing. So let's shoot them off right on the blood moon. <laughs> uh, cancel the blood moon. And yeah, there's not too much about the cooking pot to say. Uh, the next episode, I will be doing the flame emitter. Oh, it didn't affect the other Korok. Where's the other Korok? Did it just disappear? Oh no, down they both go. <laughs> oh, let's do one more for good measure. Let's stick it to the wheel. And so, my, so uh, here we go. It's going to go get some distance. And <laughs> see you later. Oof. And we'll just hit this one for good measure. Oh, look at that. You can uh, sort of stand on them. You might have some applications as well. So, righto. This is a little bit about the backpack Koroks. Next, we'll be talking about the flame emitter, where I'll start to analyze the energy cell drain in comparison to the fan. And we're starting to classify the zonal devices into the different types, uh, which just briefly, we'll drop a fan. We'll drop a flame emitter and turn them both on. So the fan uses a little bit of battery, the flame emitter uses a lot. So we're going to talk about that in the next episode. So thanks for watching. Uh, this is the backpack Korok experiments. And I can't remember which Korok is which, but uh, yeah, I need to find names for them all. Uh, we played with the uh, Captain Hook and whatever I'm going to name this one near this stable. So thanks for watching. Uh, these are all my cooking pots. I'm going to uh, reload and get all my items back and then play with the flame emitter. I might go back to Fanboy for that one. So yeah, you'll probably see me playing with Fanboy on the plateau. Righto, uh, see you next time.